Coach Moore. Tough duel with Ryder tonight. Um, and your best guy doesn't wrestle. I was disappointed. I wanted to watch uh, Corbin and Fag Dave's are one and one, actually. Yep. So that would have been a good one. Um, a couple really good matches, though, by the way. 41. Okay, that's a guy, he's a borderline guy. You look at Cheek. Cheek's a guy who should qualify. But they don't have him ranked in the top 33. That's got to be frustrating for you guys. He plays to the scuffle. So that's a guy, he's a borderline guy, you know, and then 49 was a great match. But you guys lost those tough matches. How do you get the guys over the hump in matches like that, you know, and, and managing matches? And, you know, one guy was coming from behind. Cheek came, was, almost came from behind there. Doesn't get it done, you know, but had a good Southern scuffle. He's right there. How do you manage those matches and get the guys over the hump? Uh, I mean, you're right. I mean, we had, we had, I thought, for the most part, those guys that were in those matches were the underdogs going into those matches. So to keep themselves within a takedown, within one move away from getting a win was, you know, I think we were, as coaches, we were proud of them as far as that goes. But, you know, the next step for us is to try to win those matches. You know, not just to put yourself in a position to win, but take the next step to win those matches. And I think the difference, you know, in my mind, a lot of that is the experience. Um, you know, I think wrestling more and more of these tougher matches for our guys, and as they grow and become juniors and, and seniors and, and progress throughout their careers, they're going to start winning more matches. So I think, you know, if you go through the lineup and you look at the, the individual matchups, I'm sure uh, overall they had probably 10 to 10 to 12 years of experience. And I think for me, in my career, I think experience is the most important thing. Just going out there, competing, and, and training, and 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 I guess just weighing in and, and figuring out a way to win matches and it, it just doesn't happen I think that's what our guys need to need to know you have to continue to believe in what they're doing and eventually it will come but it just takes time you guys aren't the host for the NCAA tournament the MAC conferences right. but it's gonna be here less than a mile away as a crow flies right in the quick and loans arena the gun for some people where the Cavaliers play um, you guys excited about that you expect excited to punch a couple guys through and, and, and see what happens, you know, see what you can get happening. Guys get to sleep in their own bed. It, it's a really unique environment. Last time you guys you guys actually hosted 98. Yeah, now it's back here, ago. you know, 20 years ago. <laughs> What's special about it for you guys and what do you got to do to get as many guys through as you can? Uh, I mean, I think there's a couple things special. I mean, it's it's great for our guys that we don't have to travel. We don't have to, you know, get on a plane and, and spend a day of traveling. So I think that's important. I think more importantly, I guess, than our guys is just having all these wrestling fans come to our city and for our city to showcase all the improvements, all the all the really nice things about Cleveland over a four to five day period. And I think a lot of fans, a lot of wrestlers, a lot of everybody who attends will be really surprised with the city of Cleveland in general. And I think a lot of times with recruiting, um, you know, we come into those battles and, and people are saying, hey, you're in the city, you're in the city, you don't want to go there. But I think after people leave nationals, I think a lot more people would, would consider this place as a, as a university. So I think we're excited just to get people in our city just to show them what a great place this is and hopefully they'll come back and visit and hopefully some of these high school kids, junior high kids, youth kids that come watch this tournament will see this place as, as a place they'd want to come someday. You were really good at recruiting Pennsylvania when you were at Kent State. What do you got to do to get Pennsylvania over here? Pennsylvania guys, there's no question, you know, dippery tonight. Dipper on the mat. Right. You know, he's a Central Dolphin guy, right? He, he's a Pennsylvania guy. Pennsylvania dominates on the mat. Look at the NCAA qualifiers, right? You're a Pennsylvania guy. What do you got to do to get maybe beef up the Pennsylvania guys? You're in Cleveland, Ohio. It's a hotbed, right? What do you got to do to kind of kind of get some guys from over the, the state border? I think it's it's kind of the same. I mean, I think we we recruit mostly Ohio kids just because, my personal opinion, I, I like to try to get kids within a two or three hour radius just so their parents can come watch they have that support system um, you're taking away kids getting homesick and you're able to find out more about these kids because you know I have a lot of connections in Ohio now and I can you know hopefully get the good kids that are going to stay here for five years and develop and kind of going back to the first question I think for us to be successful it's it's recruiting those kids that are state runner-ups taking third fourth in the state of Ohio and PA but keeping them around and developing those guys over a four to five year period. And I think that's something, if we can do that with our freshman group, as far as our freshman class right now, if, you know, hopefully when they're juniors and seniors, I think you're gonna see a totally different result and we're gonna start winning a lot more duels at that point. If you look what your brother's done at Lock Haven, 
I mean, it's incredible it's with all PA guys. Yeah. It doesn't hurt that he's got one of the all-time greats on his team. Right. Pennsylvania, you know, all-time greats and chance. But yeah. you know, you look at that Pennsylvania. I think is the hotbed. But what did you what did you learn about recruiting Ohio guys versus recruiting PA guys? Is there something that uh, you kind of noticed in all of your years of experience so far as a coach? Yeah, I mean, a lot of times the, all the kids I I recruited from PA, the, the better kids. I think. Um, what I saw was they could compete right away in college just because maybe of their math skills. Some of these Ohio kids, I think it takes them, you know, an extra year of development um, to kind of figure out and, and get more of a feel for the mat wrestling. But overall, you know, I guess it really doesn't matter what state you're from. I think it's overall just the de- development and putting in your time, you know. And, and these guys on our team, they just need to learn it. They need to put in the time. They need to keep grinding every day. Um, you know, and, and good things will happen. All right, Coach. Next duel for you guys is next week? Next Saturday against George Mason. George Mason here? So, yep. All right, nice. you got anything else for me, Coach? No. Nope. That's it here. Hey, thanks for the time. Good luck to you guys next week. Right. Thanks.